I think this is great content, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I think know, this is great. I know you like it. I think it. this is great background content. Yeah. It's not foreground content. Well, here's the foreground content. I, the foreground too, content, it needs 100% of your attention yeah. because we're about to get into you review. Yeah. yeah. And these reviews, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about. Now, last time you guys talked about switching off back and forth. I don't know if, Jordan, you want to start, and then, Michael, you want to do the second one? Sure. It's up to you guys. Dude, sure. let's see how this first one goes. Okay, let's do it. Sam S. says, I stopped at the refurbished location at 4411 South Lamar in 290. I had to repeat the order three times. I ordered two double roast beef and a small curly fry and a medium crinkle fry. When I go to the window, they guy repeated the order, and again, it was wrong. He called to someone to add the second double roast beef. He then offered me two drinks for the inconvenience. I took one. My mistake for not looking in the bag when he handed it to me. Again, one sandwich and the, <laughs> and the, and the med crinkle fry is the same size as the small curly fry. Both were stale. <laughs> I spent 1977 to find out that Leo in Lethal Weapon was right, and I am old enough to know better. Okay. What? I complained on the company website, but no one cares enough to respond. No. They got their money, so I am on a champagne to be <laughs> what? sure. I think it's supposed oh, to be campaign. Yeah, yeah. I just thought he was talking about the Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> so I am on a champagne to be sure no one goes to this Arby's unless they just want to get screwed out of their money. This company has gotten as bad as the Whataburger on Slaughter <laughs> Lane in Austin. No! Don't even get me started bad. that one. I have also called 10 times on the, and the phone must be off the hook. Always busy, dot, dot, dot. Probably from all the customers complaining. I want my 1977 back, not more crappy food. This guy called 10 times. <laughs> Let it go. He is calling a fast food restaurant. We ordered in person and it was a struggle. You think you're going to solve a problem over the phone? Right. What? You, you probably could just go in there, throw a fit, and they give you some free food. Exactly. Right. But he doesn't want free food. He wants his 1977. Yeah. Right. They're not going to give you that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to give you that. He, he wants some sort of vindication yeah. from Arby's. That's a hollow victory if there's, you get it. There's this idea, I think, with like older people where they're like, that's right. This is, this, this is a business is run. They need me. They don't give a fuck about you. Never come back. Die for all. A they company care. like Whoa. Arby's is not the same as a company like 100% Eat. We do need you. We do need you. Yeah, we're not. We're we don't not, care, but we need you. Yeah, that's right. We're not a Carl's Jr. We won't cast you aside. We will say yes. Welcome. You have a complaint? Sorry, we're sorry. Uh oh, sorry. Uh oh, <laughs> we're just we're just try, we're doing we're our trying. Best. We're, we're trying. We're trying. We're just little guys. Yep. Oopsies. Uh, <laughs> but we will not give you your 1977 back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, What's with the lethal weapon quote? I don't Had know. To, dude. Who, probably just watched it. Was that, you know, was that Joe the, Pesci's character? I do, I don't fucking the know. most famous quote in the movie. Where he's I am old enough to know better. What? what? That's not even it. Yeah. I thought he was going to say, it, I am too old for this shit. Thank you, Nick. He was dying on the ice. Leo gets Joe Pesci. Oh, he gets. Yep. Hey, Pesci. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does right. he say something about, hang on. Does he say something about Arby's? I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, you like, look that up. That's maybe we're, we're, we're going this again. This is background content. I'll move on <laughs> to the next one. All right, go for it. Uh, this is from Mally B. Horrible location, probably because it's so ghetto. But anyways, <laughs> I ordered a kid's roast. It's beef. Not even. I ordered a kid's roast beef and cheddar sandwich. Something so simple oh, that I ended up getting a wrong order. I ended up getting a Swiss and roast beef. My child was very upset. She didn't even eat it. And to top the cherry, that's not how that's, that's not how that's it wasn't even put on the right bread. I don't even know what bread it was. But when I took a bite just to see how the sandwich tasted, <laughs> it seemed to me it was a flowery taste, more like potato bread. If you're going to mess up an order, please don't mess up a kid's order at least. Kids most of the time are picky. That's a heads up for the future for you if you want to be successful. <laughs> Thanks for the business tip on the Yelp review. <laughs> what? Well, Michael, thoughts? Yeah. No, it's true. When you're planning on fucking up an order, uh -huh. working at a fast food restaurant, right. you definitely because, because gotta, there's a quota you have to meet. Right, right, right. You're yes. like, okay, now I could mess this up. Well, hang on, it's a kid's order. Hang oh, on, well, we save skip it. it. Yeah. Save it for the yeah. next the, one. Yeah, I Honestly, gotta be successful. This next guy, he's. Fucked. Also, <laughs> this guy, I'm gonna get his fry size wrong and only give him one sandwich. And they will be stale! <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know. 
Also, ghetto, what is? like the ghetto location. There, there's, what, who's throwing that word out? I don't know. In, in Austin. <laughs> Mally B. What I don't get is that he's talking about the bread is wrong. The what are then, what then, bread? Then, then, then bit the bread and tried to describe <laughs> this it? This is potato. <laughs> like, here's the thing. I could even say if you went, like, I ordered it on a bun and yeah. I got a biscuit. But it sounds like you're now you're just questioning the ingredients. How many different breads are right. there? How right. many, what are you talking yeah. about? At, at, the fuck are you talking about? They have about? one bread. Yeah. yeah, what are you talking they about? They probably have bun, <laughs> some kind of sliced bread. I think they have a rye and then for the Rubens. Probably Rubens. a brown bread, yeah. and that's it. So he just looked at it and went, no, mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> this is all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all wrong. I wanted beef and cheddar. This is Swiss and beef. Uh, oh, do you think I, a kid's gonna so notice? So simple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're very picky. Man, if this doesn't just top the cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. It's like <laughs> you get a cherry. What are you gonna top it with? Uh, thinking what, about what are you topping this cherry? About with? Topping this cherry <laughs> with some of that that rubber cheese sauce. That's oh. Uh, mm. uh, 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 All right, last one is from Joe S. All right. My roommate woke me up after he stayed up all night drinking and asked me to take him to Arby's. <laughs> Why is he reviewing the restaurant? He left this review. He typed this out. <laughs> I had never been to an Arby's before, so I wasn't sure at first, but he promised me it would be absolute <laughs> gas. <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet it was. We went and I got the cheddar and beef, which I was told was the best item on, on the Arby's menu. It was very below average. <laughs> I was expecting something really good, but it was just liquid cheddar with interesting beef. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason they have more than one star is because the mozzarella sticks were great. <laughs> and I hear the poppers, too. <laughs> poppers! Poppers! I mean, that seemed like a pretty sane person. Yeah. yeah but, I, like, again... The story of, like, why well, write a review? Why? Yeah. That's that's what I like why? about this. The first, <laughs> why? I don't understand. I, I never cared enough. I mean, I care enough to start a podcast. Now, I will it, say, I feel like this is different phases of like the same guy. The first one is when he is old and mad <laughs> that these things are not coming together for him. The second one is years prior when he has a young child and he's like, oh, fuck, they messed up the order. I'm so exhausted. Whatever. The last one is him the first time he tried Arby's mm -hmm. and he went, it's going to be gas, dude. It's going to be, yo, my friend says it's going to be absolute gas. Bro, this is going to. That's a good thing? Bro, this <laughs> Arby's going to be so fucking fire. And then, and then he goes, this is liquid cheese on interesting beef. <laughs> interesting, interesting beef. beef. That's a good way to put it because that's what it is. Interesting beef. Yeah. It's just sort of there. It's different. Yeah. All they have, right. Arby's is like, nobody else has this. Yeah. It, but it's not good. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. It's uncanny valley beef. Yeah. It's definitely interesting. Um, there you have it. Those are, those are the reviews that you left. That's the people. You reviewed it. Sam is definitely a 100%er. Oh, yeah, I think he's an experienced eater <laughs> yeah. is what he is. Yeah.